I don't know exactly why the people that started to call smart contracts call them smart contracts because they are not that smart. They are as smart as the language, the programming language that they are programmed in. Like you have smart contracts in C++ and JavaScript or Solidity, which is kind of a similar programming language used on Ethereum. And this is as smart as it gets. So it's not really smart. So sometimes people I hear, I hear people talking about oh smart contracts as if when they talk about smart contracts they also seem a bit more smart but that's just silly to be honest smart contracts are not smart they should be called instead automated contracts or decentralized contracts uh, something like that but uh yeah smart contracts are indeed bringing some real cool use cases and that's what we are going to be talking about in this video okay so let's talk about what why do we need smart contracts let's start with the with the problem and and why do we need these smart smart contracts right nowadays enterprise infrastructure is silhouette companies are silhouette in different databases each company has a different separated database and different technology stacks and integration and synchronization between enterprises are hard and generates a lot of duplicate non-standardized databases with similar information right enterprises run these asynchronous databases with a lot of manual reconciliation in order to try to keep the data kind of synchronized across different organizations when they do business right this creates a lot of issues to the organizations, issues like duplicated technology costs, unnecessary manual labor, and upgrades are difficult, and because companies use different technologies, so it's just messy, right? It's, it's inconsistent, and it's very hard for different companies and different people that try to do business together to keep... Uh, on the same page when they have all they have is separate databases so the, in this case like the coordination is difficult right enter the blockchain using a blockchain with smart contracts make sure that each organization sees the information at any point in time and that the data is always synchronized Smart contracts solve these issues related to the lack of synchronization and lack of standards and unnecessary manual reconciliation. So smart contracts are basically short pieces of executable code that can automatically be executed according to the, what you have coded, according to the business propositions, according to the business flow. And you can automate the business flow across different, different organizations that want to do business together. Smart contracts can help to solve the issues that we have discussed before, right? Smart contracts can reduce the duplicated uh, technology costs because they put in a transparent way the, uh, the, the, the business logic between different organizations, the uh, workflows are automated, and, um, and, and you bring more consistent standards and processes across different people that want to do business. We can we we'll, could we'll be talking about about permissionless private blockchains, but we can also be talking about DeFi, decentralized finance, about NFTs, about anything. Because with smart contracts, we can embed all the business logic and data sharing, making sure that each one of the participants on whatever is the uh, business flow sees the same information and can carry the uh, carry out transactions between them based on that and to be clear the objective of the smart contract is not really to eliminate real life contracts right uh, smart contracts are usually very simple and not that smart they are good for all the reasons that we have discussed before they are usually they, they, they don't have the same legal value as real life contracts, but they automate business logic and they are immutable and they provide a very transparent way to do business. 
you can see, for example, the uh, DeFi example where we have uh, or de decentralized finances uh, or we have like peer to peer lending. How do you lend money and get the loan without a real life contract? You, you, you do this because these smart contracts are really immutable and you can trust the code on the smart contract. And uh, decentralized finance is, is here to stay, no doubt. And it's a huge entire financial industry being built on the top of the Ethereum blockchain. But uh, there are also smart contracts are also very interesting for other industries like supply chain, trade finance are classic examples of good use cases. They have complex business workflows that require sequential steps and orchestration between different organizations as they perform different actions between them, right? In the trade finance or in the supply chain, there are many participants and it's very interesting to see a different applications using uh, smart contracts for trade finance and supply chain. You have uh, we.trade, e-trade connect, uh, uh, and, and contour. There are many others also using uh, in permission in the permission area using smart contracts. But for me, the most exciting ones are probably the uh, DeFi space and uh, NFTs at the moment, maybe just because of the hype. <laughs>